In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use our Film Noir preset to create stunning black and white photos that will blow people away. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jared. I'm the founder of Toneception, an Instagram community that finds and features some of the most mind-bending shots on the web. Today I'm going to show you how I created our Film Noir preset in Lightroom Classic. The same techniques I use in this video also apply to Lightroom Mobile, so if you edit there, be sure to follow the exact same steps. If you want to download this preset, click the link in the description and download the files. Just a quick reminder though guys, this preset is password protected, so keep an eye out for the two-part password in the top right of your screen at any time throughout the video. All right guys, I'm gonna jump into Lightroom so we can get right into this tutorial. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom and I have this shot. It's a really nice color portrait that I grabbed from pexels.com. They're not a sponsor of this video, but a really great site for stock photos and stock videos. If you have a project you're working on and you need to find photos or videos, pexels.com is the perfect place to go. I'll leave the link in the description so you guys can go check them out. Again, they're not a sponsor of this video, just a site that I like to use myself. All right guys, so the first thing we need to do is go up to where it says treatment and we're gonna select black and white. This is gonna give us a nice base for our edit. Now we're gonna work on the white balance. So I'm gonna add plus 23 for the temperature and plus 20 for the tint. Next, I'm gonna bump down our exposure a bit just to darken the image slightly. And I'm also going to add a good amount of contrast to the shot just to make it punch a little. I'm also going to bump down the highlights to minus 54 and also the whites to minus 41. This is going to help to create a really nice tone to the photo. Now that we've done all that, I'm going to bump the texture down a bit and also boost the clarity slightly to contrast that. This is going to help to pull out some of the details in our subject. And lastly, I'm going to dehaze. So I'll add plus four in the dehaze slider. So now that we're done with our basic adjustments, we can get into our color mix and tone curve. Now I went ahead and adjusted the tone curve, so if I turn it on, you'll see the adjustments apply immediately. Tone curve allows you to adjust specific levels of light within the image. So as you can see, I created a really soft yet heavy contrast look, which makes the overall image pop. You can adjust the tone curve by eye, or you can use the preset options below if you want to as well. So the next thing we're gonna do is adjust the black and white color mix. This will allow us to adjust individual colors within our black and white edit. I'm gonna drag the red to minus six, the orange to plus two, the yellow to minus 31, the green to minus 22, the aqua to minus 26, the blue to minus 41, purple to plus five, and the magenta to minus 20. Now I'm gonna turn the black and white color mix on and off again to show you the before and after. Here you guys can see in the before and the after how the black and white color mix really gives you a lot of control over the look of a black and white edit. Now we're gonna add some detail into this shot. So I'm gonna increase my sharpening to 29. The last few steps here will really take this black and white shot to the next level. We're gonna add some vignette to the photo. So here under the effect tab, I'm gonna make sure the style is changed to highlight priority and I'm going to drag the vignette to minus 13. Now we're gonna adjust the midpoint to 32 and the roundness to minus nine. 
which you can see adds a really nice focus in on the subject. Lastly, we want to feather the vignette, which will spread it evenly throughout the image. And I'm also going to increase the highlights to plus 100, which will bring up any of the details we lost during the process. So now you guys can see how the edit changed from color to black and white and how this film noir preset can be used on almost any photo. Inside of Lightroom, I'm going to copy these settings and paste them onto a few other images so you guys can see the difference this preset can make. If you want to download this filter for yourself, click the link in the description and enter the two-part password from the video. Once you've entered the password, you'll be able to download the XMP file for desktop or the DNG file for mobile. You can then copy the settings yourself and paste them onto any other image inside of Lightroom just like I did in this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more weekly content. Click the bell so you'll be notified every time we post a new video. Also guys, don't forget to follow us on social media. All the links are in the description box below. If you want the chance to be featured on our Instagram page, give us a follow at Toneception and also tag us in your shots using hashtag Toneception for the chance to be featured on our feed. That's all I have for today's video guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.